Hello, hello, welcome back. Did you have a short break? Did you go to the bathroom? Did you have something to eat? Hmm. Don't come late to me as I'm hungry. <laughs> like always, okay? Nah, that's fine, I'm just joking. Math. Shake, 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 shake. Oh, look, my ponytail is shaking. Shake, 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 shake. Into math. We're doing super progress in math. We're really, really, really shooting it out. Today, we're going to do something that we haven't done up to now. Sorry, we have done it, we have seen it, we practiced it, right? But we haven't seen them all together in only one class. And I'm talking about the four operations. What are the four operations? Addition, subtraction, which one? Multiplication and division. Good job, fantastic. We're going to work with the four operations. We're going to review them here, okay? And then we're going to have a fun activity before you go on to the work that I sent you, okay? So, our first operation, let's go with addition. What does Miss Kim always say? Yes, remember to put your numbers in the right position. This is for everything. It's not only for addition, okay? It's for all the operations. Math has to be tidy. Because if you misplace the numbers, the digits, if you misplace them, if you put them in the wrong position, sorry, there's a fly attacking me, okay? Your answer will not be all right. And what do we need is that you're tidy, that you put them in the right position, and our answer has a great possibility to be good. Let's go. 446 plus 398. Remember, if we need to do our chart, there is absolutely no problem. Okay, I've got my ones, I've got my tens, units, tens, and hundreds. Good job. With what do I start? Where do I start from? Yep. I start from the unit one, okay? Six plus eight. If you need to use your fingers, use them. Oh, Miss Kim is saying this again. Yes, and she'll say it the whole year, okay? If you need to use your fingers, use it. If you need to use lines or drawings or extra pencils, use them. I have no problem. Okay, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Can I put the whole fourteen in the units place? No, I can't, sir. Mm -mm. Which of these two digits do I put in the units? Good job. The units one. Right? And what do I do with the next one? The one that is in the tens position? This is the easy part still. Yes, I put it in the tens position, but where? Down here? Nah, right at the top. Waiting to be used, okay? I'm not using it yet. 
Once I'm done with the units, I go with the tens. Great. Four plus nine. These are additions that we can do mentally, actually. Yeah? Again, if we can't, not a problem. Drawings, fingers, no problem. Four plus nine. Four plus nine. How much? Thirteen. Good. Thirteen. Thirteen. Where do I put the thirteen? Ah, I bet you saw it as well. Four plus nine, thirteen. Do I have anything at the top? Yes, I've got a one. So it's not a thirteen, it's a fourteen. Good job. Fourteen. Yes? Good. Where do I put this four? Can I put it in the units place? No, I can't. It's finished. It's done. So I have to put it in the tens place. Yes? What about this one? Yes. It goes at the top of the hundreds, waiting patiently that they use him. Yeah? Four plus three. This is an easy mental math one. Four plus three. Seven. Plus one. Eight. Fantastic. If you go slowly, right? Not extremely slowly. Remember, extremes are not good. Remember about healthy and non-healthy food? We can eat a little bit of everything but not just one or the other, right? This is the same. If we go slowly, step by step, things are super easy and super visual. Let's go to our subtraction now. Let's have 907 minus 632. Remember, do your chart. The people who don't need to do their chart, that is fine. Some people already can do this faster and you don't need your chart. Fantastic. Units, tens, hundreds. Beware. This happens a lot. We've got our head in addition. Now we're in subtraction or minus, okay? So, seven minus two. Can I take two away from seven? Yeah, sure, no problem. Five, super easy. I go to the tens. Zero minus three. Can I take three away from zero? What do I do? Remember crazy Miss Kim. Neighbor, you hoo I need help. You remember that? Yeah. So, I call out for my neighbor. Yeah? My neighbor gives me one. So now I'm not a zero, I'm a 10. And what is my neighbor now? He's an eight because he gave me, right? He shared with me. Now, can I do 10 minus three? Can I do it? Yeah, I can. 10 minus three, one, two, three. Seven, good job. Everything good up to there? I'm sure. Then we go to the hundreds one. Eight minus six. Easy mental math one. Two. And my answer of this subtraction is 275. Super duper. 
let's go to our multiplication. Three times five. Three different ways that you can do this multiplication. I'm going to show you the three of them, okay? We can do it with arrays. We can do it with repeated addition. Good job. And we can do it mentally. Okay? Three different ways. If I'm going to do it with a raise, yeah? What was a raise? Drawings. Good job. So I have to draw. Three times five. It's telling me what to do. Three, one, two. Three times five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One time, two times, three times, five. Good one. Repeated addition. Three times five. Five plus five plus five. One, two, three times five. Good job. And mentally, it's just the answer, right? So, I count my drawings. The people who are doing you don't need to do all of this i'm just showing the options you've got you can choose just one of the options yeah one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen yeah i have to add this one now five plus five is ten plus five fifteen Good job. And if I'm doing it mentally, three times five is 50. Three different ways, three different options to get to one answer. Oh, my marker fainted. Good one. Now, the last one, division. What if I had to divide 18 divided in two? For this one, I'm not going to give you many options yet, okay? Not many options yet. Please, let's still stick to our drawings. How many groups? Two groups. Good one. How many elements to put into each group? Well, we don't know how many in each group, but we know that we have to share 18 between two. So, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. If I count them all, you should have eighteen. Yeah? How many do I have in each one now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good job. Nine in each group. Can I have leftovers? 
Yes, I can. In this case, we don't. But yes, you can have leftovers. Okay? Now, we're going to make a memory game. Do you know that game? Memory game is different pieces of paper, okay? put upside down so you can't see what's written. You have to turn two around. Yes? On one you're going to have the operation and on, another, on the other one you're going to have an answer. But maybe it's not the correct answer for that operation. So if it's not, you have to turn them back around and leave them in the same position. Yeah? One you're competing with somebody then you go to another I'm taking this one with this one if these two match if I've got my operation with the correct answer and they match they're mine and the more you get the better okay so first we need to think about operations I wanted to have the four operations, four, sorry, four operations, yes? So, we can do it mentally, so it's faster, right? Actually, let's just do three operations, addition, subtraction, and multiplication, okay? Because for the division we need to draw, and this has to be a fast-ish game, okay? So. Addition, subtraction, and multiplication. So first you invent, let's invent approximately a 20, 20 to 30, okay? So maybe I can have nine plus nine. I can have 10 minus eight. I can have three times two. 50 plus 10. 100 minus 20, 6 times 1, um, 5 plus 10, do I have it? No. Um, 30 minus 1, huh? 2 times 2, and so on, okay? Then we need to give them the answers. Nine plus nine is 18, good job. 10 minus eight, two. Three times two, six. 50 plus 10, 60. 100 minus 20. 80. 6 times 1, 6. 5 plus 10, 15. 30 minus 1, 29. 2 times 2 is 4. What are we going to use? We're going to use paper. You can fold it whichever way you want. I think it works better if we fold it lengthwise. But that's up to you. And we don't need very big cards, right? So, I'm going to fold it once. I'm going to fold it twice. Yeah? Lengthwise. And then I'm going to fold it widthwise. You remember the past video? Widthwise. And one more time. So I just have cards this size. If you've got special paper, or colored cardboard or whatever you want and you want to use it, use it. No problem. We open it and of course we've got many rectangles and we cut them. Yes, we cut them. I'm not going to cut it all. I'm just going to show you. Okay, I'm 
I'm just going to cut it a bit so I show you. Where's my tape? Right here. On one, I'm going to write my operation. Yeah. And on the other one, I have to write the answer. If the answer doesn't match when we're playing, we have a big problem, guys. So, my first one is 9 plus 9. Yeah? And the answer, 18. That doesn't mean I'm going to put them like that, side by side, next to each other. It just means that I'm doing it, so I make sure I've got the operation with the answer. Then, once I've got them all, yeah, once I've got them all, I'm going to mix them up and place them, I'm going to place them face down. Okay. If you see my papers with these markers, show you can see it. So be careful the markers you use. Okay. I'm going to place it face down in a different place, and I will have to find the correct one. What you can't do is put it in another place. If this one is here, right? And then I put it over here. No, no, no. It's a memory game. We're using our mental map and our memory. Because I need to remember that the 18 is in that position, in that place. Okay? So, operations, multiplications. Sorry. Operations. Answers, not multiplications. You need two players. You can play with lots of players if you want. That's not a problem. But you can't really play alone. You could. But it's a little bit more boring. Okay? Now, once you've finished your game, you can play. Use your time and play. Remember to put all these things away. Remember, look. I've got right here in my things. It's a pot of a cream I was using. I washed it and I put clips in it. Keep them with a clip. Keep them in a little bag. Keep them because when we go back to school, we need all these things, okay? So, finish your game, enjoy the game, and you've got work to do, huh? Okay? Last class of the day, history. Take a short while, see you in a few minutes. Bye.